guys, the Game here, and welcome back to another episode of Planet Base. And as you can see, the base has once again changed, and I've been able to achieve what I actually really wanted to achieve. Um, so I was able to buy three more techs, which I'm really, really happy about. So we've ended up being able to buy the massive dome, so as you can see, and we've got half of it empty at the moment because I'm waiting on saving up a bit more money to buy the uh, next GM mod because the other one I bought was the GM Tomato uh, one so we're almost getting there through the um, through all these nice little um, mods and that all these um, techs and that because uh, really we've only got a few more left because we've got all the big ones like all the equipment I've got now I've got the storage as well uh, I've got the GM Tomato I've got this we still need the robot we still need the onion um, there might be one other I need or something. So we're not too far from buying more. It's taking quite a while to do so and it is a bit of a pain. Unfortunately, this episode, it probably will be another short one as well. Uh, just because material wise is very low. Like as you can see, we have no plastic. Um, we have no money. Um, we've got tons of ore. So I'm hoping that um, I'm going to build another one of these just next to it and I want them to hopefully start processing that um, a bit quicker. There is only two of them, but um, we can't really do much more. So I think I might open up uh, the colony up to some more workers. So I'm going to introduce that and we might as well turn off trading because I'm not going to do some this episode and I need to do this. Now I did have to get some medics um, because one of our medics got malnutrition and our one and only medic got it. So then that caused a massive issue because then I was like, well, if anyone else gets sick or injured, no one will be healed because the one medic is um, pretty much incapacitated. So I was lucky um, when I noticed that the base was in a good uh, welfare standings. Um, like we were pretty much at 100% good. So I was really, really happy about that. Um, so by doing that, it allowed me to get in some more medics. So now we have three, which is perfect. Now, I want to actually build one of these over here. I didn't have it. I had one and then I dismantled it. And we're going to build it there just to protect there because this part of the base is not protected. And I don't know what happens when lightning hits a building. I know it just needs repairing, doesn't fully destroy it. But I don't know what happens if a colonist is in there. Say, um, look at our dorm. It's sitting targets where everyone is sleeping if we have a majority of our base there at night it gets hit by lightning then let's say they all get i don't know electrocuted and they die i don't know if that happens or not but i don't want to risk it you know you don't risk it for the biscuit i guess uh, here we go there we go we're gonna get our workers we just got one i'd like to get two more if that would be nice um and then he can now we can at least do that and then i can build another one of these uh, plastic machines as well so I will actually place the plastic machine there uh, just so I can start building so this kind of part of the base again isn't set in stone this area can get ripped up but this area is set in stone so we finally got our food in place and it's actually now sorted we're actually getting decent amount of food it's the highest I've seen it be for quite some time uh, we've got our meal processing, obviously. We've got our canteen where they can eat, and we've got massive storage, which is exactly what I wanted. So, I want to build towards getting another one of these going right next to it. So, since they've built that, um, we're going to tell them to build it, um, and hopefully they will finish it slowly over this episode. So, it's going to stick out a tiny bit, because they always do, but that's okay. So, we can do that, and I'm going to connect him that way. So, I'm not sure where I'm placing this yet and our starport because originally we all we always have it outside where our like turbine to our turbines our storage our solar panels and all that sort of stuff is or like near our mining but as we found with last season it became incredibly difficult near the end because I didn't increase the base popular um, population quick enough and that caused a massive issue with intruders because our prestige was way too high. Like, our prestige is only at 83, so it's okay. But when prestige starts getting too high, I think when it hits just over 100, you're in risk of intruders. So I've been trying and hoping that to keep it down a bit. So now I'm going to cancel that because we've got about five workers, which is perfect. Um, and we've run out of spares. Great. So I will need to um, actually activate trading again because I need to buy some. Um, but as you can see, like, by doing that, we need to somehow block off our landing pads so they're surrounded by buildings. 
So, and then they have that one entrance uh, leading to it. So then if we do get intruders and I do see them land, I can block off that entrance. They're stuck out there and they will slowly suffocate. It is the best method. The only problem is, is to find room in this area to do so. And this could be the area right here. Um, I might have to place some buildings and weasel out some of these mountains, but pretty much this canteen edge is going to go down straight with this. And then we can put an entrance in here and we can put like our star point on that there. And then we can wrap buildings around here to link into the one over here. And we might be able to just squeeze it in. I will only, it will only work if all this ridge goes. So we're going to have to work towards getting rid of that. But if that's the case, then that's where we can do it. And then I can be 100% satisfied that we've not only sorted out the location of where our landing pads and our starport will go, but also that our base can be intruder proof in in that retrospect so i want this guy to have gears and he doesn't so go away i only want gears but yeah so that's that's the plan that's the idea so again there's still a lot of work that has to go um into this base off camera it's very slow process because i'm buying all these techs straight up um we do need to start getting some things finalized i would like to possibly next episode have some of this stuff built so then we can look into seeing is it possible can we actually block in our star a starport and a um landing pad so then it makes it much easier and then we know we're 100 percent certain i'm not exactly sure what i'm going up in this direction we could possibly we can't really block it in here it's probably not enough room um but out here, like we've got all this room out here as well. So I'm thinking the biodomes are going to bre breach out this way. Um, standing reached. What is that? So your colony is known by everyone. That means we've hit prestige level 100, which is terrifying now because I have no guards and no control center. We could be getting intruders any, any moment. So so we don't get any this episode. I'm completely shutting off that landing pad. Um, it might be best to slowly build this um, with the resources we have to make sure we don't get intruder issues because if we have intruders now, they will wipe out our base. It is that simple. We've only got like 13, 14 um, colonists. So um, that would be a major, major blow to um, our area. How is this going? Like how far away? Oh, there's actually one more off from building that that's good yeah because those extra workers they've been now producing all this plastic that I need them because we've been having quite a lot of starch and they just haven't been doing anything with it so at least now I can actually slow production in here I don't need to force them to work we've got plenty of meals um, these guys are at least doing that I want to connect this as well and um, in here we'll put the starchy sort of um, products I guess because I want the GM tomato here, I want the onion on this side, we can put some starchy stuff here um, and then probably do it again. So really this could be probably all tomato then this could be all onion and then we could do the starchy ones up here I guess, I don't know. Um, but at least now we've got the second biodome built um, which I'm happy about so that at least protects it because then yeah we can do like canteens or whatever. Um, going out this way and protecting it and we can kind of go around and then we can clear out this hopefully so a lot of work to um, for a potential because we're not even a hundred percent sure if um, that will work what I will do is I'll put the oak trees in here because they always go in the center um, but yeah it's it's something so <laughs> we have to work towards that I'm not hundred percent sure if this is gonna work but you know, I want to make us intruder proof. The intruders are a big issue and we're running out of spares and this guy is broken. So I do need to have that open, but I don't want intruders. So, um, I'm just going to do a quick save just in case I, something bad happens, but, um, that's really all we can do for this episode. Like, um, again, it's a short episode. As I said, it was going to be, um, I need to really do a lot of off camera grinding to get this base going. It's hard to get, um, planet base going sometimes because it is so hard to get your foot through the door but um, I'm going to call this episode it here guys next episode I'm hopefully will either have some of this planned out or we'll do it all on next episode and hopefully we can um, get a crack at um, securing a spot for 
uh, future landing pads. So, as usual, guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. So, see you later, guys.